Hi, Dr. Rob Norris, pharmacist here at Chambers Apothecary. Welcome back to our education series. Uh, we're talking specifically about CBD or hemp oil um, and all the different uses and uh, the background relating it. Uh, really trying to bolster up your education and uh, make you better understand what these products can do for you, um, more about them and, and how they can impact you and, and, and what to look for when you're picking CBD products. Uh, throughout the weeks through our education, we've talked about background, we've talked about the different categories like full spectrum, broad spectrum hemp, um, and now leading up to our, our final week here, our next to final week, and specifically talking about pet medications or pet CBD hemp oil products. Um, when we talk about pets, we're primar primarily talking about our cats and dogs, um, and uh, and we'll get into the different facets that we you should be looking at and considering when thinking about using a CBD or hemp oil product. Uh, for the first thing, um, you know, there's a lot of information out there. However, there is not a lot of great studies that us as pharmacists or clinicians or even veterinarians can really access. And that's changing. There's stuff that is uh, studies that are in the works and a lot of universities are really looking at it, um, but not enough for really us to extrapolate very specific data. However, that doesn't mean this has not been very effective for many animals. And so, and talking with vets and looking at the different organizations like the AKC and uh, the veterinarian associations, you know, a lot of their information is based on actual cases, antidotal cases, uh, that they've had with patients uh, of the dogs and cats and, and their effects. So all that to say, more information's emerging and will be known for, for our animals. Uh, and, and their thoughts and antidotal reports are, are showing success in areas of pain and seizures, um, arthritis, stress and anxiety. And there's a lot of other categories that they're thinking that may play a role. Um, you're asking, well, how does exactly does it play a role? Well, similar to humans, um, animals, in fact, all mammals, will actually have and contain a system called the endocannabinoid system. And like humans, it's comprised of a, C, a CB1 and CB2 receptors that are all through the body. And these receptors are everywhere. And it's thought that this system is a system that regulates and helps modulate all the other systems. Um, which is kind of the reason why it seems like CBD or hemp oil can be so so beneficial in so many ways. Um, and like humans, it's the same case for animals. Um, so more information is emerging on that. However, and, and many people that we've talked to, many people who have come in and use it for their animals are seeing a lot of successes. So we'll kind of get into how to cautiously use products. But the next step is, okay, you know, you, you've talked to your vet, they might be uh, um, recommending you give it a shot, or maybe you're just looking at it on your own. Um, you know, you feel that it's worth giving it a try based on maybe um, people you've talked to in your own research. Next step is what do you give and how do you give it? Um, you know, the number one thing we recommend is a broad spectrum product. And if you look back into our other videos, I've kind of talked about what are the differences between the two. Uh, but specifically, broad spectrum it will not have THC, uh, which is very important when talking about our, our dogs and cats and their, their uh, uh, systems. But what it does have is all the other things besides just a CBD, for example. It, it has all the cannabinoids, so CBD, CBC, CBG, for example. It has terpenes. Uh, it has all the things that we in a whole call an entourage effect. And so having all those compounds from the hemp plant is what makes it very beneficial. What you got to be careful of and what is important to note when looking at products is the quality of the manufacturing of the product. Um, and so again, referencing back to our previous learning uh, modules, talking about a certificate analysis is really what's going to allow you to determine, you know, what is the CBD hemp oil product you're buying and is it safe? And when I say safe, you know, are they or was the products tested for things like pesticides, like heavy metals? Um, solvents, for example. Um, these things can be very toxic to our animals, just like with humans, but even more so for them, and can be very detrimental in some cases. Uh, so it's very important that when we're picking products for our, our cats and dogs that we're looking um, for good quality, clean CBD and hemp oil products. And likewise, what we found in the market are a lot of products for our pets that don't contain the other stuff that truly makes it a broad spectrum product. You know, they'll say CBD broad spectrum, and then when you look at the analysis, there might just be just CBD. 
uh, which you're then not getting that that entourage effect that we're really finding is the best uh, way to be taking hemp with the most potential for benefits. Um, so it's very important, broad spectrum, and really knowing this, uh, the C of A. Um, from there, it gets quite simple. You know, for us and our, our brand, which meets all of those qualities, it's pesticide and heavy metal free. Um, but then it's, you know, what preference do you think your animal may have? Is it a liquid, which is great because you can mix them uh, with their food or treats or however you uh, prefer to give uh, food or treats to your animals? Um, specifically, our liquids, we have in a chicken flavor or a fish flavor, for example, and we also have chews. So, you know, from a pet perspective, the routes that we can give it are very effective uh, and, and generally have been well sought by their by the owners that, that the pets, you know, are actually taking them. Some, some animals can be pretty finicky. Um, so once you find a great product and you got a broad spectrum and you're sure of it, like our Chambers Apothecary brand, um, our biggest recommendation because of the lack of data out there is we want to make sure that we're not giving too much. And so uh, once again, referring back to that C of A, you know, the last thing you want to do is, is give your dog five milligrams of a CBD product in here, there's way more in it because of the lack of quality assurance in that company. Um, but in general, when you find a good product, you wanna be conservative. And so the theory that we use in a lot of cases in pharmacy world and just in general, is you start low with the dose and slowly increase it. So you're gonna to wanna to log what product you get and how much you're given and really just kind of note what's going on depending on what the uses are. For example, I said, you know, it could be used for pain or arthritis, uh, anxiety, uh, and, and sleep issues. Um, and, and so that should be pretty readily noticeable to some extent. And if you're not noticing any symptoms, then it might be time to slowly, incrementally raise that dose. Um, like I said, the other thing uh, you want to be very careful with is making sure you get the right product and that it's clean. Uh, it doesn't have the pesticides and heavy metals. Uh, but all of this, you ultimately want to double check with your veterinarian. You know, most of what our information comes from is are, are, are from case by case examples out there from veterinarians. It's not based on studies uh, like we have done that with uh, humans. However, these studies are emerging, so the information is coming, but it's looking very promising based on the, the slowly uh, incremental dosing and waiting and monitoring and based on those responses, we're seeing it as very encouraging. Um, so talk with your vet on your specific case for your animal. Um, every animal might be in a different category that might, um, you know, we have to look at the risks and benefits. Come in, talk to us, and we can help um, shed some light on that. But ultimately, encouraging your veterinarian to be a part of that decision will, will be highly encouraged in our opinion. Um, uh, the big thing is uh, when you give... CBD and pet products that um, you can stand behind the quality and be assured that what you're giving is safe for them. So in wrapping up and talking about our uh, CBD and hemp oil for our pets, you know, I really think you should definitely consider it. Talk with your vet, come in and talk with us, bring questions and we can work through those together. Um, you know, as we wrap up uh, towards the end of July here, we've been talking about how we have a, a, a big uh, event for our community. It's going to be a Zoom call um, where we're going to be talking all about CBD, a little more in depth. For, so for the, some of you that maybe haven't been able to watch everything in full, um, but enough to where you're like, man, I really want to know what's going on with this whole CBD hemp oil uh, category. Make sure you sign up for our uh, Zoom meeting that we're doing for the community. It's going to be on July 29th. It's a Wednesday. We're going to be doing it at 7 p.m. Uh, we're going to kind of go from the start to, to finish. Uh, we're going to keep it short and sweet, uh, meat and potatoes, if you will, not a lot of fluff, you know, talking about similar things that we talked about uh, all month long and uh, maybe going into some detail in some, some areas, but then ultimately opening up to a, uh, a, a question and answer session. And, um, and we have some really exciting news. So um, I will start to, that teaser now that not only do we have this, you know, really cool Zoom meeting that we're going to be doing, um, kind of enforcing what we're, we're educating on, but we have some really, really um, beneficial, exciting news relating to CBD and hemp oil and our brand that we're going to tell you more about that's going to happening. It's going to happen in the beginning of August. Uh, so we highly encourage you to get on that, uh, that uh, Zoom webinar, if you will. It's going to be live. We're going to be talking. We're going to have slideshows. 
Um, we will not put you to sleep. It's going to be uh, uh, very informative, and, um, and I think you'll get a lot from it. Um, so make sure you look at all our posts and you sign up for that. Uh, with that, I appreciate your time, and uh, I appreciate you tuning in. And remember, here at Chambers Apothecary, we are more than a pharmacy. Thank you.